Hello guys, welcome to a new video and as you saw in the title, it's different than what is usually going on here. Um, it's car related, it's BMW related, but it's not E36 related. Um, of course with the race car build project coming to an end, of course it's never ending, never done. And the car is by far not done, but the most work is done. We've checked it, it's never getting ready. It's the changes from now are just going to be slight and if we're ever going to, yeah, it's just this one is done. So it's time for something new, which was a bit unexpected and a bit earlier than planned, but I found what I was looking for and uh, I'm going to show you. Of course, when you guys see this video, um, the build series is not done yet. Um, we haven't tracked it. Yeah, so this is filmed before the ending of the build series. So uh, yeah, after this video, the build series on this E36 is gonna just continue where it left off. But now I'm gonna show you what's up. So here it is. Um, it's an E46 330i in Imola Red 2 um, with the MPEG and the cloth black interior with the black headliner. The, of course, when you see this, you know what's up. Um, so this is basically, uh, I think I've got some explaining to do on this car, but let me just show you around really quick. 18 inch wheels, black kidneys, not sure about the black kidneys. Not sure about the 18 inch wheels, but I got the BBS laying around. So I'm probably gonna put the BBS on. But um, overall, the car is in good shape, not in great shape. There are some spots with rust that need to be taken care of. And just overall for uh, what this car is gonna be used for, it definitely needs some improvement. So, well, I'll take you around to the Backside, I'm gonna explain you what is gonna happen to this car. So basically, this is a 330i. Um, it's still on, I don't know how you call it in English, but on gas like LPG, and uh, it's an automatic. So what the first step is is get that system off. So it's just a petrol car, and we are gonna manual swap it. So that's gonna be a very interesting video. Um, Overall, this car is basically going to be a OEM plus slash club sport build. So it's going to be just the basics for nice driving. So of course the manual swap, probably some recaros at the front. Um, we're probably going to overhaul the complete rear suspension also because we need to reinforce the rear because that's not been done yet and it's not cracked. So at least what I could see with the Supreme attached. So um, that's one of the first things you need to do is get the rear axle off and then do the complete refreshment new bushings and stuff The brakes need to change So the brake power is really weak now. So uh, new rotors new pads. Um, we're gonna probably rebuild the calipers and paint them nicely um, And that's basically what the first plans are of course along the way we're gonna do brake cooling um, Maybe a half cage uh, of course other wheels because I don't really like the look for street wheels these are nice but so for the tires there are some Michelin Pilot Sports on there for now so these are pretty good I was planning to run these tires anyway so I got a spare set that came off my car for these tires so that's nice and other than that we're just gonna in time see what we run into because of course every car is gonna have its issues and this as well I already saw some things that I was like, mm. so we're definitely going to take good care of it. Um, so let's not take it for a drive. So one thing I have to show you guys as well, these two together. So the E36 and the E46. I think they're red and blue, looks well together. Of course, we are going to have to get them out together outside sometime, but like this is fine for now. Pretty funny to see how much chunkier that car is compared to this one. 
even a seating position that one is just chunky I don't know how to explain it like how the whole car handles pretty funny to see pretty funny to compare I'm just curious how that's gonna drive compared to this one of course this one is fully built and solid pushings and uniballs which is this one is gonna be probably PU and less expensive suspension and less extreme tires and less everything but just the overall package how it's gonna differ from this one so pretty cool to see them together so we're taking it for a drive now um, this is one of the last drives before I'm suspending the car and then we are gonna work on taking the LPG system off because the road tax is incredibly high we have that kind of fuel compared to like normal petrol so that's the first thing we're gonna do is take that off and then re-register the car for just regular petrol um, but overall I'm pretty surprised by the automatic transmission I thought I would hate it but it's actually very nice to drive and everyone complains about these transmissions not being great but they just feel fine to me but anyway there it's gonna switch for a manual because it's gonna be a track car so uh, yeah right now I'm just manually shifting with the things on the steering wheel overall when I was looking for this car I, I don't know on the, on the test drive I knew I liked the car but I like didn't fall in love with the car but like when we drove home and I did some drives here I completely fell in love with the car and I thought it was gonna be a mild, mild build and I'm not gonna bother too much but we are already past that stage and I'm already making lists of stuff I want to do and mods I have planned and it's just gonna go so out of hand but then the club sport not fully race car so basically what my old car was before I transformed it to the race car this is gonna be the new one The car, the car, the car handles pretty nice for the weight it has. So I'm pretty positively surprised. Of course, this is still stock suspension, so and OEM bushings and all that stuff. So it's gonna steer even better. But for now, I'm just very happy with it, and I'm just uh, yeah, I'm happy it's a solid base to uh, to start off from. But don't worry, this is not gonna. Uh, influence the E36 content because of course the E36 is gonna be the main car of this channel and it is forever gonna be my favorite car ever so the E36 stuff is gonna continue we're gonna do so many track things so so many Nürburgring other tracks with the E36 don't worry it's all gonna continue but this is just another project um, for now so also for you guys who were worried that the building videos were gonna end because the E36 is finished. No, we got building videos and mixed with driving videos. And for the E36, I did film um, when I like I started with the car, but I didn't document it that well. And with this car, I'm just gonna document it a lot better. And you can really see basically the first drive since I have this car. And with the other car, you didn't see that. So we are probably gonna track it on the Nürburgring soon um, in its current form. So automatic, probably just petrol, not the LPG. And um, we're gonna see, not benchmark because it's not about timing, but just benchmark how the car feels and how the car behaves on the Nordschleife. And then go from there and see what the worst thing that needs to get fixed and then go from there. Wow, this guy is driving very slow. So 
So we're gonna end the video here. Um, we're gonna park the car and then probably the next time you're gonna see it, we're gonna mod it or drive it on the ring. So I hope you guys like the color. I hope you guys like the car. It's a good base to start from. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited to see what this car is going to turn into. So thank you guys for watching the video. Thank you guys for supporting the E36 build. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. And I hope this can give a lot more entertaining videos. So uh, thank you guys for watching the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.